Oh, hello, this Blue Star Warrior One here, all the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Today I feel led to read Romans chapter 3, Romans chapter 3 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's begin. What advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, yet let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome where thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commandeth the unrighteousness, commanded the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous? Who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. God forbid, for them how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God hath more, ab more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? But not rather, as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, Let us do evil, that good may come, the whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proven both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They all, they are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sceptre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asaps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith in them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the, uh, the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Christ Jesus unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a prohibition through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus, where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he also not of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith, and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid ye, we establish the law. On Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. Again, I just felt like reading it.
without any form of complimentary. I'd let the word speak for itself. You take it up with God and ask God for guidance and wisdom and understanding. Well, I'll be back as the Lord leads.